Hey guys, it's Safa12 here with episode 2 of How to Win at Lip. If you haven't seen last week's, go check the link. That's approximately in the space between my fingers, so click it and watch episode 1. No, seriously, right now. And we're back in. I just pulled into Toronto at Union Station on the bus. I'm on the bus. I'm off the bus. I'm like, yeah. I just went to Toronto because it felt like it. Wait, there's a spider. I gotta kill it. There we go, spider dead. So I'm like, I'm gonna go adventure over to the Rivoli to see who's here yet. So I'm strolling, and I'm strolling, and I'm just walking around thinking I'm a boss because I, I got nothing. I just went into Starbucks and it doesn't exist. I walked from Starbucks down Queen Street towards the Rivoli and I got stopped by somebody doing some fundraising. She's wearing this giant Pokeru blade. You guys know Pokeru? You better know Pokeru. And if you're from America, Google Pokeru because Pokeru. It was somebody getting money for TV. Oh my, I'm too broke. I'm sorry. But like her Pokeru blings. It's seriously, literally like this big. Massive. We got it on a chain. Be like, yo, I'm a pimp. I'm a, I, I'm a pokeroo pimp. I'm a pimp pokeroo. I got all golden crested with some gems. Some gems. A nice crunk cup. You go with the pokeroo bling. Some spinners. I got, yeah, I, I don't know where I'm going with that. I'm gonna go get some food. So I walked down the street. Hopped into a subway. And after I got my sub and shoved it down my throat as fast as I possibly could because I'm basically the Flash. I walked back to the Rivoli. Tell Polarity load in. So I was just there and chilling and hanging out. And I loaded stuff in. It was really nice seeing those guys and catching up and hanging out. Making friends is always nice. I like making friends. I want to be your friend. Be friends with me. Comments, please. And it was funny because I'm not in the bed. I don't have any lanyards, but like walking in and out of the venue, nobody stopped me. Then I walked back out and then I walked back in to hang out. And then I walked back out and then I walked back in to hang out. But none of the venue staff were like, hey, you're not in a band. You don't have a little thing that says that you're in a band. Doors aren't open yet. But because I was walking in with the band and chilling and hanging out and being a good sport and having a good time. They didn't stop me. It was really kind of funny. I still don't know why they never stopped me. So after I'm just chilling for a bit, there's a bunch of time to kill before I have to be back for their set. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to pop open to that other venue to go see if I can say hey to Dirty Names. If you wonder why, what part they play in the story, they're the reason for the story. Specifically, somebody named Sam in that band started indirectly slash directly this whole day of shenanigans. Watch part. So I'm walking the like 20 minute hike to that venue. And then when I'm walking through Kensington Market, I'm just looking down, and I look up, because after you look down, you generally look back up. And I ended up seeing a friend of mine from school, who was in a completely other city, just walking down a random street in Kensington Market. What? Hey, Greg, how are you doing today? I just got a haircut, and I'm on my way to go hang out with some friends and eat some dinner, because I just got a haircut. And then we just caught up, found out what each other's doing, it was just super cool, because I like seeing him. So I get to the other venue that the Dirty Names were playing at that night, and they were there. So if anybody in the Dirty Names is ever watching this, you weren't there. I wanted to go hang out because I couldn't catch your set because your set was the same time as Polarity. I can't be in two places at the same freaking Oh, I almost punched my computer. That would have been bad. I don't want to die of electrical shock and bleeding out my fists. I like the use of hands. I'm a musician. It helps. So I trudge back to the Rivoli. As I'm walking back in, I end up seeing another buddy of mine, who I know for stage, from stage managing other things, because he was running around, just like getting stuff together, working for the festival. Just saw him, was just chatting with him for a little bit, so that was cool, and because I walked in with him, nobody at the venue stopped me yet again. I still thought it was hilarious, so I hung out somewhere. More. Caught up some more. Made some jokes. I like making jokes. Do you like making jokes? Jokes are fun. And then Jasmine and I just went for a stroll and grabbed some food and then came back and ate the food hanging out in the van. With Eric, their drummer, just found some nice chats. And then we were just getting a play-by-play -play from people running back and forth because the set, the first band up, was supposed to start at 8.30. The backline drum kit did not show up until 8.30. That makes things difficult. That also put them two bands behind which was about an hour. This put me in a bit of a dilemma because an hour after Polarity was starting, supposed to be, I was supposed to be at a different venue watching the come -ons. Dang it. Tension, drama, fight scenes. Oh crap. I was hoping that everything would work out fine so Polarity would be on at the same time. 
that they were supposed to be on. I wouldn't have to choose. So I want to see both of them a lot, like a lot, a lot. <sighs> so after we realized we had plenty more time, and most of the people in Polarity went to go to a different venue to see some of their friends play a show, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go down to the hideout and hang out with the commands and watch some shows before I have to be back for Polarity. So I did, and I texted Jasmine, I'm like, hey, if your set time changes at all, please let me know. She said, sure! So I go to the hideout and ended up chatting for a little bit with Steph and Jamie. And if you haven't listened to the commands, you need to. You need to. Because I'm telling you, would I ever steer you wrong? Would I ever tell you to go listen to something or go watch something that I didn't firmly believe in is quality entertainment? No. So go do it. Down, Blair, Sly, Super Geekly, Bionics. Do it now! No, wait, no, don't do it now because I want you to keep watching my videos. After you watch my videos, well, I was just chat with them and it was super good to see them and they were super glad to see me. So I'm like, yes, I like hanging out. It was nice to just catch up. I hadn't seen them since March when I ran one of their shows. That was apparently their third show ever. Towards partway through the band set, that was supposed to be time just before polarities at the hideout before I had to get back at the Rivoli. I texted Jasmine and I'm like, so what's the time like over there? <laughs> And she texts me back, she's like, yeah, we're running fine, a band dropped out, so everything got bumped back up, and everything's been going pretty quick, so there shouldn't be any problem, and you don't have to be back right away, and I'm like, no, I'm gonna be there at, right at 11.30 to watch you guys play. And it was. And I walk in, and there's this other band still playing. They had a couple jams left, and I'm like, oh, oh, time, 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 not cool, oh, dang it. Break. They're this band called Burning the Day. I walk in, and there's some chug 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 and some like... Some and it was awesome! Seriously, they were great! I thoroughly enjoyed myself for the couple of jams that I saw of theirs. As much as I was on the inside, freaking right the crap out because of the obvious time challenges of the evening. Because I didn't want to miss anybody. I didn't want to have to choose between two friends. It's like Betty or Veronica. You can't. Then their set ended, and I helped with the transition, just carrying stuff and old and stuff while Polarity got their stuff ready, and I manned my position at the front in the middle. And then it began.